So now you can select just only light source. All right. It prevents you to select other objects. So let's select the light and then let's go to modify. And then there are several like parameters for this light source. So target spotlight and then you can check shadow on, all right? And then shadow map should be V-ray shadow, okay? So intensity going to be um um, in this moment, at this moment, I'm gonna just apply three, and then uh, this is important thing: spotlight parameter. So um, you can uh, adjust hot spot beam. You, it means like a you can reduce the the range of hot spot. Also, you can increase the range of hot spot. So in this time, I'm gonna reduce a little bit the range of hot spot and then you can next you can decrease you can increase or decrease the range of um, the far off so it means um, from here from the from the center to here this area will be the, the brightest uh, the range and then from here to here actually the light will be diffused so if you have like a larger um, distance from here to here you will have very soft and diffused light if you have very um, short distance from here to here you will have very sharp and um, distinctive lights okay so all right okay uh, let's go to front view and then um, for this down light I'm gonna apply um, 30 for hot spots and then 60 for far off so this will be very soft and diffused down light and then uh, I'm gonna copy this light device uh, lighting source for other down lights we uh, in this case I'm gonna select instance instead of copy so and then we need two more right so now we have three down lights on the ceiling as you can see in this render the scene uh, these three down light sources uh, brightened up this right part of the bedroom but we still need uh, the primary uh, light source on the ceiling this fluorescent light so I'm gonna add uh, the very light source for this uh, primary uh, fluorescent light on the ceiling okay for that I'm going to maximize this left viewport and then let's go to top view um, in this the rectangle means the location of fluorescent light so from here I'm gonna um, uh, for that, I'm going to maximize this left viewport and then let's go to top view. And then, um, as you can see, uh, this rectangle means the position of uh, the fluorescent lights on the ceiling. So um, let's go to light. And then in this case, I'm going to use V-Ray. Okay. And then you can select V-Ray light here. And then let's turn on the the snapping tool and then you can click here and drag oh I'm sorry this um, the type that the V-ray light type have has to be the plane not a sphere okay so let's change as a plane then um, you can click from here and, and drag until here okay now let's go to top view then um, let's move this light source to the right position this will be the in the aperture of the at, at the wall at the ceiling so Great. 
I'm gonna change the V-ray light intensity and some parameters. Okay, so let's select light and then let's go to modify. Okay, then um, the type will be plain the same, and then the units intensity under intensity, the units gonna be uh, luminance. Okay, luminance, and then the color will be white. Okay. And the multiplier, it means intensity. So I'm, I'm going to input 20,000. Okay. And then let's check cast shadow and then invi invisible. And then let's uncheck effect reflections. Okay. So 